All right, today I'm going to show you how to create a dolly zoom effect. So first of all, you need to have a replay uh, recording, replay mode recording, and in that you need to set up your uh, path, uh, camera path of what you want to show. So I chose this path because, well, uh, you need to record multiple clips with different FOVs to uh, to achieve the dolly zoom effect in Minecraft. So yeah, this path I chose uh, at the beginning, if I set my FOV to 105, you can see all the building. And if I go to uh, the last keyframe, if I go to uh, FOV 45, you can still see all the buildings. So yeah, to create the dolly zoom effect, you need three or more, or at, maybe at least two clips with different FOVs. So I, I usually do three. So I'll, I'll do uh, one with FOV 45, one with FOV 75, and one with FOV 105. So, yeah, I've already recorded all three clips of the same path with different FOVs. So I can just hop into DaVinci Resolve and show you what to do in there. You can use another editor if you want, but I use Resolve, so I'll show you in there. So you need to import all your clips into the timeline. So the biggest FOV needs to go on the bottom and the f uh, smallest FOV on the, on the top. So now you have something that looks like this and two, uh, we have three clips that we want to make the same image with, like the same video with. So you need to uh, resize the clips with the smaller FOVs to match the clip with the biggest FOV. So I start with the uh, second biggest FOV clip and I just resize it until it matches the biggest FOV so you, you can see here I guess yeah It's too much. I don't think five eighty. Yeah, something like that. I guess I'll I'll leave it at five ninety. Works pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Once this one is done, you can set up the smallest FOV you have. Same thing, you need to match it to the other clips. That's too small. Yeah, it's gonna look something like this. So you can, uh, to make yourself easier, you can lower the opacity, I guess. Yeah, that's almost perfect. I mean, yeah, that, that works. Cool. So now you can see uh, between each clips, there's like a color difference. Uh, we'll fix that at the end. But first, uh, we need we can I can show you the how to do the dolly zoom effect right now. So the, there's multiple ways of doing it, but the way I like to do it is uh, with a adjustment clip. So the adjustment clip affects all the clips that are underneath it. So with the adjustment clip on top, I just go in Fusion and I add a transform node. Bang, right there. And then at the beginning, yeah, the beginning is good. And at the end I need to zoom in. So. The dolly zoom effect works that 
as the camera moves you need to zoom in or out depending on the camera movement so if the camera moves forward you need to zoom out and if the camera moves backwards you need to zoom in so in our case we'll have to zoom in so you can because yeah the camera is going backwards so you see right now has how the uh, building is like it's not very far from the uh, the edge of the building is not very far from the edge of the clip so we want to recreate this at the last frame here so how to do this well first of all in the transform mode you need to add the keyframe on the size at the beginning of the clip and at the end of the clip you want the size to be much bigger so yeah the space between the edge of the building and the edge of the clip should be approximately the same at the end yeah i went maybe a little too Uh, far so maybe something like this yeah it's not perfect but you can kind of see the dolly zoom effect already nice I'll just zoom out a little bit more yeah I can remove all these random digits So you can leave this uh, straight line. If you want to play with it, you always have the option of uh, smoothing the keyframes. But for the dolly zoom effect, it works with uh, just a smooth, uh, a straight line. So once you have that, well, you're pretty much done with the dolly zoom effect. So yeah, I guess now you understand why we needed three different clips because as as we go to the end of the clip we zoom in to the video a bunch so if we didn't have this clip enabled well i can show you i guess maybe look at those chests I, I, when i disable this uh, clip it, the chests are going to be uh, like out um, there's not going to be much pixels there yeah they look weird what oops oh yeah you, you can see it good here so you see how when I disable the clip the chests are all blurry so yeah by yeah yeah you can see it here too i don't know what why at the end yeah i guess i'm too zoomed in at the end so either clip it's just yeah i'm a bit too zoomed in but whatever it still works so yeah i can show you the effect in its full glory almost looks as if the building is moving looks so cool so yeah it's definitely not perfect you could tweak this but yeah, it's fine for the tutorial and yeah i told you earlier that you can see the edges of the clip at some places i can't find them right now but oops yeah right here you can see the change in color between the two clips so this is between this clip and this clip so to fix that what i did is go into each clip uh, in the fusion page and just add a rectangle mask put it in the mask uh, input of the media in and then uh, making the rectangle as big as the image and adding a soft edge uh, yeah something like that would work so this is gonna blend 
between the two clips. Yeah, that's maybe a bit much, but it works. And you do that to all to all the clips uh, on top of the biggest FOV clip, and then you'll get something that looks better. So yeah, that's pretty much it. How to do a dolly zoom effect. It's not harder than that. So I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time. See you.